Question seven for 700 points. We're gonna let star be defined on the set of positive integers by a star b, that will mean the maximum of a and b, or the output will be the maximum of a and b. Which of the following are true? Star is associative, star is commutative, star has an identity, so those are the, the three things, properties we're labeling one, two, and three. So which of those are true? Is it all three, one, two, and three? Right. Uh, one and two only, one and three only, or two and three only? Everyone understand the question? All right, Jacob is gonna use his help, so we'll stop the clock when it gets to about five seconds, and then everyone else will answer in that time. Uh, and then Jacob, you could also uh, signal in something if you wanted to. Uh, so Bill has to adjust the software uh, because you have to change your answer, and the clock ran out for some reason it didn't pause. We don't know why. So this okay, so A was correct, by the way. Uh, and so Jacob got that right. And Jesse, did you get that right? Did you say there was one other correct there was answer? One other correct. Oh, so he registered, so he registered he twice? Registered <laughs> well, see, that's not really fair to me. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have to take, we have to remember to take uh, 700 off your score. Yeah, so you have 2,800 now. Okay. All right, here we go. Daniel's house, which is H in this diagram, in Regularville, is five blocks west and six blocks north of his school, which is labeled S. And the, the uh, lines that you see there are streets, both horizontal and vertical. He bikes along the streets to school, insists on taking a new route each day to school, never retraces any part of his path, and is always moving closer to his school. How many days can Daniel go to school? <laughs> is it A, 100, if we don't say how many days does Daniel want to go to school, we say how many days can he go to school? Is it A, 126, B, 252, C, 462, or D, 11 factorial over five? So that, that uh, it sends that rectangle there is six uh, squares high and five squares uh, wide. Everyone see the diagram and understand the problem? All right, uh, it's worth, as I said, it's worth 800 points and you have a minute and a half, 90 seconds. All right, that's time for 800 points. It was C, 462, uh, who got that? Jacob and Kirsten, very good. Uh, Kirsten, was that, was that your lucky number or how'd you, how'd you get that? I guessed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so we'll see what that does to the score. Jacob in first place, even though he has an extra uh, amount, that's still he's still in first place. Uh, Kirsten now in second place with 1,600. Jesse right behind with 1,500, and Schuler with 800. So Jacob, you'll be in the square off round against the winner of game two, uh, and so you've already won five hundred. <laughs>